Uh, Dale here, uh, 2019 coach from Freelander. I'm going to talk to you about how to turn this into your dinette into a bed. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this and don't really kind of narrate as I'm doing it. So if you look down below here, below the table, uh, there's actually a little lever here you got to unscrew to loosen it up. Can you see that? So go ahead and unscrew it to loose, not all the way out, just unscrew it to loose. And then this part is going to pop out. So you'll set this off to the side here. It's kind of a pain to get out, but they do come out. They get wedged in there sometimes, just got to give it a pull. Sometimes a little bit of a bang, and they kind of come out. And what you want to do is you kind of set that down. Uh, since we're here, Coachman 2019 Coachman Freelander is equipped with Three seat belts in the back. One, two, and three. All right, so this is what it kind of looks like without the table, without your dinette. And what we want to do is pull out this little slide out, which didn't go out. And that's kind of slid out there now. And we're going to get your dinette table. Your square side, not your really round side, your square side is going to go on here. And you'll notice that this is your rails. These little rails up here. So it's ultimately going to rest on this rail, this rail, and on that seat. You want to make sure, because sometimes this thing kind of twists like that, you don't want that. You want to make sure that this is flat and flush so you have enough space and enough bite to where it holds up you know, a person. Uh, this back cushion here goes there. And then this is equipped with this cushion here, which we just kind of have it floating around the RV. And we're just going to have to go ahead and set this. This cushion here, we're going to go ahead and set this right there. Now this back piece here, you can move out your way. And a lot of people just throw this in the cab section. So you just kind of throw it right there. And, or you can put it up on the tub bunk, but if you have somebody sleeping up there, they're not gonna want that. So go ahead and set this just kind of out of the way. Put it there, good to go. And then that's how you set your, your dinette table. Now, a lot of times when you're using these RVs, especially this one, I tell people if it's a small child or somebody doesn't need this, kind of space because it is kind of a hassle to kind of build this whole thing and then put it back together in the morning. Best thing to do is just kind of use that back space. Remove those back cushions, get it out of the way, and that is a really nice comfortable padding. You just use that back area, leave the dinette belt. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back together again. So this little slide out that I did earlier, this is really, and it's not just for the bed, it can actually be used for seating as well. So it does add an extra seating. Um, it kind of gets in the way of like entering through here, but it is very good for seating. I mean, it's very durable, I can sit on there. But to get it out of the way, you have more room in your slide that back out and just throw this out the way anywhere you feel comfortable okay hope you enjoyed your tutorial on how to turn your dinette into a bed and any tip, tips and tricks that I showed you especially the back one you don't have to disassemble reassemble this every single time a small person can fit in the back there hope you enjoy your tutorial on how to set your dinette into a bed uh, I hope you enjoyed the tips and tricks uh, as far as use goes and use it, utilizing that back space as opposed to breaking this down, resetting it every day. Uh, could be a bit of a chore, but up to you. Um, this is Dale with Nomad RV Rentals, and there you have it.